Hello everyone. Welcome to the Best Might Test TOEFL Independent Writing Video Series. In today's video, you'll begin part one of the two-part lesson about how to write the introductory paragraph. A high-scoring TOEFL introductory paragraph can be split into two parts. The first part is general background information about the essay topic. Now, there are many different ways of writing the general background information about the topic. For example, you could write about a brief history of the topic, or explain why this topic is controversial or important. Alternatively, you can begin with other people's opinions about this topic. The second part is what we call a thesis statement, which is the single most important sentence in your essay, and you must include it in the introductory paragraph. A thesis statement is your main opinion on the essay topic, and it also includes a preview of your key points which you will be developing in your body paragraphs. Let's look at an example. The topic is, developing an industry is more important than saving the environment for endangered animals. Do you agree or disagree with the statement? Use specific details and examples to support your viewpoint. Typically, unprepared test takers will write something like this. I do not agree with the statement that developing an industry is more important than saving the environment for endangered animals. Now, before we continue, please take a moment and try to figure out what's wrong with that introductory paragraph. Is there a problem with this intro? Well, yes, there are actually two problems. First, it simply reused the words from the topic question. TOEFL will deduct marks if you do this, so don't do it. Secondly, the paragraph is too short. OK, now that we've figured out the issues and noticed how I used issues instead of problems, that's called paraphrasing. And it's an excellent tool to help improve your intro. More on that later. Let's look at how we can solve the issues. OK, first, before you write your thesis statement, give some general background information about it, or you can give someone else's opinion on it. Don't worry, we'll have examples of both later in the video. Now, it's time to write your thesis statement. Remember that simply copying the essay topic will cost you points. So instead, you will paraphrase the essay topic. Let's look at the definition for paraphrasing. To express the same meaning by using different words or different sentence structures. Remember, when I paraphrase the word problems into issues, well, you can do the same thing for your thesis statement by paraphrasing the essay topic. So now that we have added background information before the thesis statement and paraphrased the essay topic into our thesis statement, we've solved the issues from the first example. Now, Let's look at a high-scoring intro paragraph that uses everything we've just learned. The debate on the competition between economic development and the protection of endangered species has been going on for decades. I disagree with the statement that developing industry should take precedence over saving the environment for endangered species, because I firmly believe that destroying the environment will eventually take its toll on humans in the long run. Notice the word debate. This word is very useful when it comes to TOEFL writing. Anytime the essay prompts you to agree or disagree with a statement, you can use the word debate to point out that the statement has both sides of opinion. Here we write, the debate on the competition between industrial development and the protection of endangered species has been going on for decades. So, what did the sentence give to the intro paragraph? It gave general background information about this topic. Now, Let's look at the thesis statement. I disagree with the statement that developing industry should take precedence over saving the environment for endangered species because I firmly believe that destroying the environment will eventually take its toll on humans in the long run. Can you tell us what the writer did correctly? The writer used paraphrasing. Take precedence over means the same thing as is more important than. He also uses species instead of animals. There are multiple ways to paraphrase sentences and words. For example, take precedence over could be written as take priority over. Here's the full sentence. Developing industry should take priority over saving the environment for endangered species. You can practice paraphrasing by thinking of different ways you can paraphrase essay topics and vocabulary. Go to www.bestmytest.com for over 100 essay topics and 1,200 TOEFL vocabulary exercises to begin practicing paraphrasing with. Overall, this is a great introductory paragraph. 
It has the thesis statement, it paraphrases the prompt, and it has general background information about the statement. Let's look at another example that starts off with other people's opinions. Here is an essay topic. When people succeed, it's because of hard work. Luck has nothing to do with success. Do you agree or disagree with the statement above? Use examples and details to support your position. Here's the introductory paragraph. It's generally believed that success comes through hard work and luck does not play a part. However, in my opinion, hard work can certainly improve a person's situation. But luck will, to a large extent, influence the course of a person's life because the social circumstances that people are born into play an amazingly large role in the potential that they have throughout their lives. As you can see, it begins with other people's opinions by using the common pattern. It is generally believed that. Then it uses however to introduce the thesis statement which is, in my opinion, hard work can certainly improve a person's situation, but luck will to a large extent influence the course of a person's life because the social circumstances that people are born into play an amazingly large role in their potential they have throughout their lives. Let's look at three more examples. Pay attention to how they are paraphrased and how they include statements or other people's opinions. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? All students should be required to study art and music in secondary school. Use specific reasons to support your answer. Many people think that education is for preparing students for having a job. They think that maths and science are most important and that art and music are not important. I disagree with this idea. I believe that all high school students should have to study art and music because it's good for their brains, good for their personalities and good for their cultural understanding. Some people would like to travel with a companion. Others prefer to travel alone. Which do you prefer? Use detailed reasons and examples to support your ideas. Travelling is a great way to escape stress, discover new places and people and learn about the world. Whether we travel to distant countries or close to home, we can make great memories. Some people prefer to travel with a companion for a variety of reasons, including safety and emotional comfort. However, I much prefer travelling alone because it allows much greater freedom and time to reflect on life. Many students choose to attend schools or universities outside their home countries. Why do some students choose to study abroad? Use specific reasons and details to support your answer. Globalization has increased opportunities in many areas, including business, travel and education. There are many schools and universities that accept international students and help them with their education. Studying abroad has become popular for many students. I think this is because they can understand each other's cultures, get a better education and have better job opportunities. Okay, we hope you've enjoyed this video. The next video in our TOEFL independent writing video series will be how to write the introductory passage part two. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.